New at 11, it's been 25 years since three-year-old Cody Stepp went missing in Columbus. Now his mother making what could be a final plea to her community for answers. NBC Force Jonathan Jackson spoke with her today and he joins us now in the newsroom. Jonathan, she's looking for any sort of closure on this, right? That's exactly right, Audrey. I mean, no matter the outcome, Robin Stepp says her dying wish is to know what happened to her son, Cody Stepp. That was the worst day of my life. Robin Stepp still remembers the day her son Aaron Cody Stepp went missing back in March of 1997. It was the day before she was about to be released from prison, and Cody was in the custody of Stepp's mother and sister at the time. That day, he was last seen playing in a neighbor's backyard. I found out on 11 o'clock news myself. Since then, Stepp has searched endlessly for answers over her son's disappearance, even 25 years later. In fact, here's a photo of what Cody looked like back then compared to an age progression photo of what he might look like today. But there's another reason Step is so desperate to find him now more than ever. Well, I just hope somebody comes forward now, whether your family, friends, or strangers just know something. Please, I don't know how much longer I have left. Step is currently suffering from a severe lung disease and her health is deteriorating. But despite this, she's still receiving support from those closest to her. I don't know if she's gonna be here next year or not, so I'm just, hoping and praying, we're hoping and praying, that this will bring some kind of closure for her. That's Step's closest friend, Pam Taylor, who treated Cody like her own. And she says she won't give up searching, even if Step is no longer with her. I'm not gonna give up, regardless of when she passes. I'm still gonna do this. Now in Ohio, more than 16,000 children reported missing in 2020 alone. And if you happen to know anything that can help in this case or any others, you're asked to contact Columbus Police.